This week it's the 20th anniversary of an important but in many ways little known landmark. This Friday is the 20th anniversary of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child and a local author is celebrating this big step in human rights. Fiona's Fortitude teaches kids the values expressed by the convention. It's written by Calgary author Teresa de Grosbois. And Teresa de Grosbois is with us this afternoon. Good to have you here. Thank you. Now, first of all, tell us how, how you made the connection between this book and the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. Well, as you know, I write all my books to help raise money to send kids to school in developing countries. And um, so I had been talking to UNICEF about the UN Millennium Goal, which is around universal primary education. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, Teresa, what would really help us is if you would write a book that would commemorate the anniversary of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. And so that's how the idea took shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's take a look at the book. We have some illustrations. Now, you don't do the illustrations. You have somebody else who's doing No, Jennifer for you. Llewellyn does the illustrations. She lives here in Chestermere. Okay, now yeah. give us a, a rough outline of Fiona's story here. Well, it's actually a true story about my uh, youngest daughter, Fiona. When she was only five, we did our first big family hike here in the mountains. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I didn't know at the time was uh, Mount Indefatigable, the mountain we chose, is notorious for having really bad um, afternoon thunderstorms because it's mm -hmm. right in between two lakes. Yep. Um, so we got halfway up the mountain, and uh, as we were having a picnic lunch on this beautiful sunny outcrop, I looked up the mountain and there was a giant thundercloud coming right for us. So of course, you know, like any nervous mom, I rapidly started packing up the lunch. Yep. And, Fiona looked up at me and she said what I've always said to her as a child, which is she looked up at me and said, Mom, it's a good thing we're all good at doing such hard things. Right on. And I could see in that <laughs> moment she just put aside her fear and decided that she was going to focus on helping get us off that mountain. And so she did. She sang, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, all the way down through a hailstorm. It was and, fantastic. And you're here to talk about yeah. it, to tell the story about that thunderstorm. Yeah. So tell us how the, the proceeds from this will lead to something better then. Well, half of the royalties from this book are going in support of UNICEF and their programs around the convention. And really, UNICEF is kind of an unsung hero in many ways because they do some of the toughest work charities do because um, they come in after the grassroots movements mm -hmm. and try and work with governments to make things more permanent, to make um, what the grassroots movements have started and actually get them put into legislation, get the government programs going around them, which of course is really the bigger challenge in many countries. Uh, so. I, I guess in a way, it, here in Canada, we, yeah. we, we take kids' rights for granted. It's not something that really crosses our radar from time to time. but. How, how serious is the issue in some developing nations? Well, it's really fundamental to shifting the consciousness of the planet. You know, in Canada, kids have so many rights that we don't even think about it. And mm -hmm. yet, there's so many countries where the lives of children are taken for granted. They don't have the right to primary health care. They don't have the right to education. They don't have the right to be protected. Um, and so this convention basically sets out all those fundamental rights that is now one of the most ratified conventions in history. So it's really amazing. Uh, 193 countries have yes. approved it so far. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And Teresa de Grosbois' new book is, here's a look at the cover, Fiona's Fortitude.